Good day, food foresters. I know it's been a while. So we're gonna be doing kind of an update on everything. <clears throat> um, the last week and a half, Donald and I, unfortunately for the first time, contracted COVID. And today's actually the first day that we've actually felt really good. Um, we are still testing positive. Um, luckily enough, my daughter and Brayden um, were, it was a close call. They're both still testing negative and so they are staying, um, Brayden's staying with his mother and uh, my daughter is staying with her boyfriend and his family until it's safe for her to come back because she's a um, high risk and we don't want to take the chance. Uh, mainly that's because of her asthma. Uh, she has two inhalers that she uses about three, four times a day. Um, so, you know, we don't want to have her get sick if at all possible. Um, we are not sure where we contracted it. Um, we do all the precautions, you know, uh, nothing, nothing here is up for, de to, for debate. But, you know, we do wear our masks, we wash our hands, we sanitize. Um, we've all gotten our shots and our boosters uh, back in December. So it could have been anything, um, really. Um, we just kind of roll with the punches. Uh, both me and Donald had similar symptoms, but at the same time, they were also kind of different. Um, Donald had uh, a cough fever, chills, um, sinus issues, body aches. Me, I had a s slight cough, sinus issues, um, and one day I had a body ache, and yesterday I had a headache, and it felt like a brain freeze. It was like every time I breathed through my nose, this all was just like ice cold for some reason. It was the weirdest thing. I have no idea. <laughs> So, um, today I'm going to go ahead and show you the spring update, even though it's late in spring. Um, but there was a lot of things that we missed because we've been so sick. We haven't been able to really leave the house. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff that has happened, um, that we started the video before we contracted COVID. So it's going to be a mashup of everything today. So here we go. All right. I am just going to show you guys a little bit of everything. A lot of our bananas have come back from the freeze that we had this winter. And some of them that Donald cut down, which we thought were, um, that had died, have sprung back right at the base. Um, and as you all know, we do a lot of experiments here. So we're just going to see how that goes and run with it. Uh, we do have two bananas that have produced racks, and so we're excited about that. And um, you'll have to forgive us because, like I said, with us being down from the sickness, we have not been able to mow or weed eat um, or tend to the plants. So a lot of the plants have kind of gone wild like this. But as you can tell, look... We have grapes. This is our um, this is our Florida home, which is a hybrid of the muscadine and another type of grape. Our blueberries have been producing, and as you could tell, there's some right there. And then this is the wild muscadine. That's native to Florida, the Florida area. And uh, it is already producing grapes. This is our blackberry bush. We're coming towards the end. Um, we couldn't get the black, a lot of the blackberries for a couple of days. So the bird, a lot of the birds ate them, which is fine with us. I do have a gallon in the freezer. 
but this thing produced wonderful this year. Sweet potatoes. And then in here, this is our garden area. Um, the swamp milkweed didn't come up. Uh, this, before we got sick, this is all of the red sorrel. And in between the tires here, like this plant here, this is a cotton plant. I planted some cotton. And then this is the cranberry hibiscus. They're doing great. This is the baby corn. This is the Job Tears. Um, and then this is going to be the Sorghum, uh, the Midnight Sorghum, I believe. And then the last three rows are kale, a mixture of the dinosaur kale plus the red Russian kale. And then over here, find a way around it, we'll go over everything. Um, my moringa has all come back. Happy with that. Um, the greenhouse, uh, we were not able to get to right away. Um, we are going to be changing this up. We're going to try and move these um, mangoes. We're going to cut them down, dig them up because it's getting to the point where we can't this us getting sick we really had to neglect a lot of things um so it's been a little crazy <laughs> and then um got my mint growing oh. and then yeah this is pretty much we got to get in here and really clean it so over here this is our banana grove and as you could tell the weeds are as tall as me <laughs> um, the trails you see in here that's from Cooper and Luna um, but these guys are doing okay and then we're coming up on to our septic mound um, this is the pineapple row and um, look at the daisies the borage came back, but as you can tell, we do have pineapples in here. We just have to get in here and kind of weed them out. But this here, we started this before I got before we got sick. Um, we still got a bunch of pots to go through. We're filling pots and putting in seeds, and we're just we're planting everything in these big jars here. Are moringa trees and because they have a long tap root I made sure that they had containers that couldn't handle it now once they get established I will separate them and plant them into the ground a lot of these are tomatoes butternut squash jasmine um, let's see uh, tomatillas uh, some, I can't remember them all I got, that's why I put the sticks, the sticks with the names. Um, this is the sweet potato, that's the white potato. Obviously we got starts, we need to transplant. <laughs> um, a lot of the tomatoes came up, but not everything is going the way it's unplanned. Um, this was supposed to be the mint bucket but it's not the mint never came up which I'm kind of disappointed this is Donald's pepper patch and it's doing really really good things are growing things are sprouting over there is our jumbo peanuts which have gone completely crazy now the yellow flowers with the jumbo peanuts the flowers fall down and it goes into the dirt and that's what forms the peanuts. Well, again, we've been sick, haven't been able to fit them out, so we're kind of stuck with, we gotta figure out what to do here too. 
these bananas are doing great unfortunately we still have this tree limb and we really need to get it down over here is the soybeans and we have lots of beans this is doing great this is this whole bag came out great um, I planted our herbs in here unfortunately I did it when I was not feeling well but I wasn't fully sick yet so I'm not sure who's got what but I know there's basil there's rosemary thyme and oregano in here um, over here in these um, spare tires we got I am not sure what that is I'll be honest with you I have no clue that looks like a red sorrel and then we got the Asian yard long bean planted there same things happening over here um, not quite sure but that is a Asian long yard bean there is a our bananas and then over here this is our cucumber and we have been spraying it look at that I, I have several huge ones I got to harvest and then I gotta I'm training them to climb up up the uh, trellis here which is a futon this is a futon mattress set down below I had forgotten what I planted, um, but this is a buzz button. So I got buzz button here. I don't even remember planting it, <laughs> but I have several cucumbers. Look at this big mama. So I'm definitely gonna be pickling. Over here is my butterfly pea. Again, we got to weed, but as you can tell it's already producing and it's not even halfway up the trellis yet beautiful blue flowers um, over here I believe this is a Thai basil or a purple basil that um, one of our homesteaders gave us friends I have a few sunflowers um, this one I don't remember the name of it. It got burnt, but it's coming back, so I'm happy with it. Here's the other side of the tomato row. And then more sunflowers. I love my sunflowers. I am not sure. Nothing's really coming up on this one, so I may plant um I may plant whatever we have over there into the empty spots and come around to the back side now I threw a bunch of the flower seeds in here so as you could tell it's to save the bee borage and I threw in some sunflowers as well and this is the back side this is our Asian yard long green beans are growing really really well and then I already have a sunflower ain't it pretty and then also again more beans and um, mainly some flowers but that's um, all we've been doing we got to fill in these tires this is going to be another row for tomatoes backside is going to be for anything that's viney once the uh, cucumbers are done we haven't really gone in here since the attack um, we've kind of left it alone but I'm gonna go in here just because it's easier to see the back side of this uh, food forest here eventually we're gonna clean this up but this is a beauty berry and that's a native to Florida as well but over here I'm not gonna go too far because um, I can't see snakes and this is kind of a swampy area but right there we have a bloom oh look we got another one 
So we got two of them going. There's our loquat, some more bananas. We did find a moringa in here. Um, looks like it came out of one of the sticks we laid down. So like I said, we're, if we find volunteers, we just let them run because we like volunteers. But I mainly keep the animals out of here because this is not mowed down. So I don't know if there's so, actually something in there. Um, I don't want to take the chance. And we'll come along backside here. Yeah, there's a lemon and lime tree over there that I'm really partial to, but I can't get to them. Here's our banana row, the original. What is it? Well, hello, stupid. Hi, guys. What y'all doing? Here's little Miss Coachin. Hi, guys. What you doing? <laughs> so the birds have been, um, we've been throwing the scraps in there, so they'll start digging away at that. And we've done a lot of changes. A lot of things have happened over here. So, our neighbor gave us pheasants to hatch out. So we have these, yeah, we got turkey in there, baby turkey. So we have, I think, five pheasants that we're going to grow and eat. Um, we have one called duck and a regular duck. This duck here has been having leg issues, the dark one. Um, so we put him into this uh, modified coop to recuperate. And we're leaving him with the call duck because the call duck doesn't get very big. What are you guys doing? Yeah? Hey, honey. Did you shut the gate? Well, I'm almost done. With the oh, you're almost done? All right. So we'll go over here. Where are you going, ladies? Miss Cinnamon Queen, the Naked Neck. So over here is our breasts, chickens, our breeders. They're doing great. Yeah. Next to them, we have the turkeys. Big boy is still around. And he's just huge. And in our two gray slate mixes, there's Sarge. Hi, Sarge. And we have hatched out a bunch of baby duckies. is um, gonna be harvested in Donald's three call ducks and Sarge the protector. And then we have a broody duck. Hey baby boy, baby boy. Well then also too, um, we got rabbits. Um, they were given to us by Donald's uncle Wayne. And he made the uh, setup here. This is Buster. Hey, Buster. I know it's hot, honey, huh? He's such a sweet boy. Don't fall out. Hi, Buster. Hi. He's a lovey. Yes, he is. Oh. All right, Buster. I don't want you falling out, honey. That's Buster. And this is his girlfriend, Amber. Hi, Amber. I know it's hot, honey. And she's a sweetheart. I just make sure she's lovey-dovey. But before we got sick, 
We have baby bunnies. They adorable. They're so stinking cute. <laughs> They're just chilling now. Um we are doing a test. This is going to be, we are going to try our hand at rabbit meat. Um, we're only going to do one batch right now. She had five babies. Um, I think the hardest part for us is getting over the cuteness. Because <laughs> they're so stinking cute. And my younger sister had a rabbit as a pet. And then my oldest daughter, she's had two. Um, so getting over the cuteness is going to be the hard thing I, that's going to be hard for us but we're going to try it and see what happens huh cuteness huh honey yeah this might be a challenge for even me <laughs> all right now stupid screw is all over the place right now um these are the turkeys and the breasts that we hatched out um <laughs> We're happy these are also going to be for freezer camp later on. Um, but we had one turkey that came out dark colored. Um, I don't know if that was a relative of Mr. and Mrs. Turkey before. I think a buzzard got to the mama. Huh? I think a buzzard got to the mama. To what mama? To its mama. You mean Mrs. Turkey? Yeah, I think that turkey's half buzzard. Oh, she was. That's a lame joke. That's a dad joke. Really? It kind of looks like a buzzard. Oh, it looks like a buzzard. She whiz. Okay, so. Huh? Turkey buzzard. It's a turkey. You know what? I'm just going to leave you right now. <laughs> All right. Hey there, stupid. Here, Miss Coaching. Oh, what are you girls doing? You hunting bugs? So, we thought Bonnie was pregnant. Um, it turns out it's a false pregnancy. But we don't want... Hello, Bonnie girl. Uh, we didn't want um, Lydia to keep milking so we kept them separated and lydia where's lydia oh she's in her house hi lydia here you are hi honey and the chickens kind of wander you didn't finish your food and then we put clyde over here in the far pen and everybody's been doing fine we still haven't, like I said, we still got a lot of cleaning up to do. Hi, Clyde boy. How's my Clyde boy? How are you? Yes. Yes, Clyde boy. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You did love the lovings. You did love the lovings. Yes, you do. Yes. Hi, Lydia. So, in short, That's what we've been doing and um we're just being careful today even though we're feeling good i know aren't you glad we're back to normal stupid <coughs> <coughs> excuse me oh hi snake let's see if i can get you these are friendly well, sorta. Got it. Probably coming after the eggs. So, hi, dude. Hi. Why are you biting me? Stop biting me. All right, I'm gonna have to put this down. Okay. 
he's a pretty snake. They're good to have around, but they eat the babies and they eat the eggs. So he bit me a couple of times. I'm not letting him go. He's trying. All right. Bit me right there. I got to go in and wash that. But here is the other mulberry bush that's protecting our water tank, keeping it kind of cool for the summer. Um, my jasmine has produced its flowers and it's gone. I just now have to look for the seeds. And I think I see some. No, that's not it. But I'll, uh, a lot of stuff is neglected, you know, because we were sick. Um, this is the brown turkey fig. And then this is the LSU. That's the Pakistani or the white one. We don't know. Can't remember which one. And then we're right back where we started. So everything's doing really good. It is supposed to, um, it's supposed to get up to, with the heat index, 105. So we're trying our best to get everything done. And Donald is in the process of making something. So I'm gonna go back. The snake distracted me. So I'm gonna go back and uh, show you what he's making. Okay, forgot about this one. This is the mini food forest. We got a lot of ginger and turmeric and uh, sh uh, shampoo ginger coming up too. Yeah, that one right here, that's your shampoo ginger. Oh, that one right there? Yeah. Nice. These are turmeric. You got a little, another ginger coming up there. Yeah, that's a beauty. This is a beauty. Look, the beauty berries are already producing yeah. early. We got to get at the weeds here. That's our miracle fruit. This is a... Um, that's a lychee. Okay. That's our jacopacaba, but it's got a vine. It's got a thorny vine growing in it. Yeah, I got to keep this. We got to, yeah... I'm already starting to lose my breath again. This uh, COVID is no joke. This is the Toro. And that's come back. It had two blooms on it. But it's just a gorgeous plant. I really like that. So, to help with the babies, um, we're kind of fixing up this pen a little bit. We tore down the old pen. And Donald built an easier house. And because the netting was coming down, we decided to take the netting that we have here, push up against this. I guess this will be okay. For, you know, it's yeah, not attached. there's a big hole there too. But it's... Well, we can always put something... So... This is the new house. The new house. Ooh, we gotta be careful. Is it too close? Do we need to pull it out a little bit? Uh, we have to push the fence back a little. But we got a roosting bar for turkeys and chickens when they get a little bit older. Um, you want to open up the door here, honey? Show them. This is the new door, so we can herd them in at night and not have to bend down and get them. Um. So we're gonna put all the all the animals that we're gonna be going to freezer camp will live in this area right here. Right. <laughs> Once we get this area fixed because we need to put the netting back up, they'll have access to this whole area. But for now, this is gonna work for them. It's gonna give them plenty of room. Yeah. Whew, it is hot. Yeah, it's I gotta take a break. Yeah, I mean I have to too. With COVID, you just you really? Out of yeah. This is the first time we've really been able to come out here and do anything. Other than feeding and, and just filling up. We haven't been able to clean. I mean. Our yard looks like a hay field. Yeah. Well, eventually we'll get it. We'll get it. Two weeks in Florida and your yard turns into a hay field. Yeah. Or a, uh, a swampy jungle. <laughs> oh, turn around. What? 
What do I got? Stuff in my hair? Yeah. <laughs> Vines. Vines. Gee whiz. Welcome to Florida. Yep. But these guys here are going to go. Once they get a little bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger. They're going to go in there. That's just temporary. Um, one night, we had a coyote come out here on the camera, and he was digging, he trying was to lost. get it. Oh, did we, we forgot about the camera. <laughs> Go ahead and turn it off. Uh -huh. We'll have to check it out. So, that's about it for right now. Just a, a quick little update on everything, and hopefully... Once we feel a little bit better, we'll be able to go into more detail with everything. So, stop petting the bunnies. You're not going to be able to butcher them. But look how so cute. Aww. Look at the baby. Easy. This one looks like his daddy. Mm -hmm.